Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Coffee Venture series where your boy, Alfie, <laughs> aka Quantum Casa, will venture to every single independent coffee shop in London. And if they sell coffee, I'll probably be there. In today's video, we'll be venturing to a coffee shop that I was recommended, Black Sheep Coffee. And there's actually one round the corner from me, down by King's Cross, I believe. And in today's topic, I'll be talking about a creative block because it's relevant to me because you haven't seen that many uploads recently from me and that is due to some sort of creative block and I want to explain the process of what was going through my mind on how I'm overcoming that creative block now by making this video and on that note it looks like it's gonna rain um, because it's London it's the UK so I'm gonna try and go to the coffee shop now So I made it to Black Sheep Coffee and as soon as I walked into this coffee shop it gave off such a... I say this about all the good coffee shops don't I but this one gives off an amazing vibe and yeah it just it looks and feels like a coffee shop and I know that it's hard to put together because coffee shops should look like a coffee shop and most coffee shops today don't look like or feel like a coffee shop. If you're a coffee drinker you'll understand what I'm talking about but if you're not don't worry about it. So I decided to order a large latte because, I don't know, it's, it's, it's 40p difference from medium and I guess I always do that when I order coffee. Well, I've been sitting here for a couple of minutes and trying to pinpoint where I can taste this like blend of coffee and well, I've managed to pinpoint it and it's Coffee Z and they have a similar like blend like they mixed like some African blend with some Colombian blend and made it like it was nice it had like an oaty kind of nutty kind of taste to it and that's what this has given off the milk is there uh, that's important I've mentioned this many times latte in Italian means milky coffee if there's if it's watery I'm gonna throw it in your face um, it shouldn't be watery the milk is there and that I'm happy with that the coffee art is a uh, it could, it, could, it could be worked on, you know, I've seen better. Black Sheep Coffee, you've outdone yourself. Um, the coffee's banging, the atmosphere in the coffee shop's banging, the staff here, they, they're so friendly and welcoming. Um, I think I'm gonna have to rate you a five out of five. I don't know how that's gonna work because I've got my top five coffee shops already. Um, I might have to extend it to top 10 and you can you could be six, but yeah. That's the rating of this coffee shop. Guys, let's talk about a creative block and I'll get back to you on that when we're outside somewhere because there's a lot of copyright going on inside this shop with music and I just, I don't want to be involved. Like, I don't want to be involved in the YouTube massacre. So, um, yeah. Let's get into talking about a creative block and why I stumbled upon a creative block and how like you guys can benefit from me talking about this and how you can overcome a creative block. Basically, if you don't know what a creative block is, it's where you... It's like you really want to create, you want to make your videos, you want to make your content, but you walk into a wall, a mental wall that stops you from getting past a certain point and that is what a creative block is and I came across one of these recently and I didn't even know I did. Um, it was mainly because most of you, I don't really tell you most of my ideas because I like to like make them a surprise. But basically, I've had a lot of ideas, a lot of plans, a lot of things I want to set in motion. And it all came at once and it was kind of overwhelming. For example, I'm trying to produce my own short film and I didn't think like, because I want to act in it as well, I didn't think of all of like the tasks that I'd have to do on my own, like di I have to semi-direct, I have to do storyboard, I have to script it, I have to cast the people that I want to be, that I want in the film that will suit the parts, the roles, is that, that is just one thing and then on top of it I'm trying to sort out some music, I've got three pieces, I've got three songs that I would like to produce, it's always been my dream just to make some music and you know just get it out there like it's like express an emotion that is key it's like video in video making are you express emotion same in music i just want to give it a go i want to tap into that and also on top of that 
there's these videos here, my Coffee Venture vlogs. Like I've had loads of dilemmas with the thumbnails. I still need to go back and redo the thumbnails to the previous ones, but I need to spend more time on thumbnails and how they appeal to get people to click on them and stay with me, join me <laughs> and learn something and come on a journey with me, trying coffee, going to different places. That is what a cr the creative block is. I got, creative, I got creatively blocked by creativity and it was overwhelming. It just, you know when you fill a glass of water up and it just overflows? That is, try and imagine that, that is exactly what happened with me. I had so many ideas and I just wanted to do them all at once instead of just focusing at one at a time. But that's just a little highlight of what a creative block is. It can be different for everyone, but for me it was just the overflowing, the overwhelming, um, I don't know, pressure, presence, all of those big intimidating words of creativity because creativity can be positive but there's the negative side to it and it if you don't like to like take your steps carefully it can be very overwhelming and it can put you out of commission for a bit like it did for me and i don't want that to happen to anyone so if anyone ever stumbles upon this video and finds it helpful um just let me know all i can say from this experience is that i've learned something you know i've learned about a creative block i know how it feels to be overwhelmed with so much creativity that it blocks you from doing what you want to do so badly and that's to create. If you're new around here and you want to know about all the best coffee spots in London, I suggest you subscribe and hit the bell because it notifies you when I upload and that's very important. And also if you leave some feedback or comments or even an emoji in the comment section I'll be so grateful and I respond to every single one of them. So yeah. Until the next video, take care, goodbye.